Why, hello. What do we have here? Well, we have Grandpa's old truck. And we've got some wind noise and we've got some road noise and I'm running out of daylight and I'm running out of battery. So I'm gonna make this a somewhat quick video. Um, of course I say that, it'll probably run 20 minutes. But, um, what is this thing? What am I looking at? What are you looking at? 1989, I think. 88 or 89, but I'm pretty sure it's an 89. Chevrolet C1500. This is the Scottsdale trim line. So it's a little bit of a more basic trim than something like a Silverado. Um, I think the Cheyenne is under this, if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, yeah, lower trim, but uh, very cool. Long bed, standard cab, under 100,000 miles. And I believe this is a uh, San Francisco Bay Area long time ownership vehicle. Been here a long time. Um, so let's poke around it real quick. Um, first thing, it is a little bit cosmetically challenged, but it's pretty well laser straight. Um, not a whole lot going down the sides. The paint on the sides look good. When you get to the top, California sun kicked in and uh, faded out the, obviously on the uh, hood here, also on the roof and the tops of the doors and on to the top of the fenders. Not terrible looking. It's mostly faded flat. It's not like it's, you know, red or white with the uh, ever popular primer coming through the gray. It's not quite that severe. Um, it's mostly just sunburn, but it's definitely there. And it's really pretty much, pretty obviously the worst bl blemish on this truck. Um, it's got this kind of cool black trim. Normally you see these in chrome or just metal, but it's black and I don't normally see that. So that's cool. Little dent on the bumper here. Little ding there. This guy is actually from, if you open the tailgate and you're not careful closing it, the little hinge in there, it'll kick out and it'll bite the, the bedside there. So you gotta make sure that it's it's not sticking out incorrectly. Um, and that's what's been causing that. Looks like it's been doing that a long time. Uh, tow package is here. I don't see, it's got like a four flat connector um, or what we have for a connector. I'll do some homework there. Um, but the frame of the truck looks really good. There's really no rust that I've been able to discern. You know, some typical surface rust on some of this stuff, but you know, leaf springs and such, but all very good. Does have a bed liner, which is pretty cool. Um, here in California, bed liner is not the death sentence that it is in a lot of other parts of the country. I don't see any rust or anything. I know other parts of the country, the bed liner, you put it on there and all it does is trap salt and snow and sleet and, and all kinds of nastiness. Um, it's not the case here in California, thankfully. Um, we're pretty good there, unless you're up in Tahoe or something. So that's a, that's not a bug, it's a feature, having that here. Um, before we jump inside, I do want to make a note. These tires, um, I was looking pretty quickly for a date code. I didn't see one, but it doesn't much matter. I'll see if I can get one, but either way, they're pretty well cracked. They're old. The tread's fine, but that doesn't much matter if, if they're dry rotted out like these ones are. Not a complete death trap. I've driven it on the freeway, um, but absolutely number one thing you need to do when you buy this truck, put tires on it. Do it yesterday. Um, if it were me, what I would do, because the rest of this truck is kind of my spec, I really think this thing's cool. Um, I would pull the wheels off. I would refinish these steel wheels because the paint's not in the best shape. Um, I would refinish them in this factory Argent. The center caps and trim rings look pretty good. So I would just pop those bad boys back on. I'd put some BFG all trains on it with the white lettering out, and I would call it a day. There's really not a lot else I would do on this truck, um, but that's really cool. And one thing I do have, these emblems are missing. Um, they were faded out and turning to dust, and I think the detailer, when, the, when, when this car got washed, removed them, which is fine. Um, I have replacement ones on order, so those will be on there. Normally, I would wait to do the photos and video until that was uh, fixed and remedied and put back on there, because that's gonna really make the exterior of this truck look an awful lot better, because that's definitely a blemish. But uh, I wanna get this over to the guys um, at the auction house 
uh, so they can put it in their hopper and get this thing listed ASAP because um, I think it's going to perform better before we get to winter and people decide they don't want to buy uh, buy interesting two-wheel drive trucks. So um, yeah, that's just uh, of note. That is something that's going to get uh, rectified. But yeah, otherwise, truck is good. A little blemish, a couple little blemishes. Nothing scary. Door handle's not broken, that's a bonus. Scottsdale. Manual windows, they work just fine. Anything automatic automatically breaks. These are not automatic, these are manual. So they are working well. Just when I was driving her a minute ago, turned 94,000 miles. And I'm getting low on light. So I'm gonna start this thing and we'll talk. Turn the headlights on. Um, fan works. All speeds seem to be good. All three speeds, again, this is a lower spec truck, so you got low, medium, and high. AC, you can hear the, you can hear the relay for it click. So the switch is fine, all that's working, but um, obviously I think it's just out of Freon. Um, that would be the only other thing I would do to this truck, is I would convert it to R134A, um, blow some Freon into it, um, and then go. Stereo, she works. To get the most out of every gallon, save money with gas saving tips from the professional. Makes a funny little beep when you push that. Shop online That's at fun. But uh, yeah, um, I have not tried to pop a tape in it to see if the tape deck works. Uh, so your mileage may vary, but the rest of the interior very clean, matches up to the 94,000 miles. Um, yeah, headliner. Common, common, common problem on these. This one's not completely fallen. The middle is hanging on for dear life. But right here, over the driver is sagging, over the passenger is sagging. The visors are doing what they can to help hold it up a little bit. It's kind of coming down here at the very, very edge, just right here in the middle. Um, oh, and by the way, some of the reflecty stuff here on the mirror is, is going away. Um, not that big a deal to contend with. I am... 5, 10, 5, 11-ish, sitting here in the driver's seat, I still have headroom. My head is not hitting the headliner. So it's not a huge deal. There's nothing more annoying than a headliner that's riding the top of your head. Um, that is the worst thing in the world. That is not where this is yet. Um, otherwise, seats are excellent. Again, lower spec, so you've got the vinyl flooring, but the vinyl flooring is in good shape. A little bit of discoloration here, but nothing too scary. And uh, yeah, let's pop the hood. I remember the hood being a little uh, little finicky, so I might need to bang on it once or twice to get it to pop open, but we will see. Let's check it out. Maybe it'll cooperate. There we go. Love tap, that's all we needed. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we've time traveled. Right when I popped that hood open, my uh, GoPro battery gave up the ghost. Um, so it's a few days later, and uh, it's a little bit dustier because it's been sitting. Um, one thing that is fun though, if you notice that these were missing, I got the replacements 
right when I got home from the other day. So these are now on here, and uh, that makes a huge difference. That looks way better. And that's pretty much the truck, in a nutshell. You know, it's got us a little perfections, as uh, Grandpa's old truck tends to have. If you turn the full sign, you can see the paint better. That's pretty much it. So we will go for a drive, we'll see how it runs, which is well, and uh, yeah, all right, shall we? Okay, Take on Gra taking Grandpa's old truck out, different road, it's getting late. Um, I don't have enough time to be able to drive us to my normal road. I normally go down the nice twisty one, but um, let's face it, nobody wants to see me push this thing down a uh, an old twisty road regardless. So let's go for a quick drive. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Um, just starting it, seems to have a tiny, tiny bit of a high idle, but I just had idling for Oh, see, it's already settling down. So that's just the start of procedure. It would appear. Um, let's go headlights on. Um, AC off. And uh, yeah, let's roll. Jiggles and wiggles, I hear a few things bouncing around. Some of it might be the jack spare tire hardware kit that's behind that passenger side. It's coming from the passenger side of the cab. See belt wiggling could be that. I don't know. Old truck. Every single common issue on these trucks are on the internet and have a fix. Um, the one I used to own, which was a 2500 4x4 standard cab long bed, did not do that, but it was a 2000. It was the very, very end of the run. Um, and so, you know, maybe that was cured by that. But uh, yeah, Google away, because the seat itself is in great shape. So maybe there's a little grease of spring or something. Um, there's no tears or anything else wrong with the seat, seemingly. It is, it is some, doing some squeaking.
Okay, well, that's pretty much the truck. Um, probably not the most exciting driving video you've ever watched, um, but that's okay. This particular driving one is really more for the watchers and the bidders while this one is live at auction. So um, go do yourself a favor, follow the link in the description below and uh, you can follow along as the auction carries on. If, uh, if it's a couple of weeks out after this went live and you're just seeing it, um, well, you are uh, missing out on the action, at least as far as the auction is concerned, because uh, I push these out the moment that the auctions go live. So when this video goes live, the auction goes live, and if you don't wanna miss the auctions going live, just do all the YouTube things, you know? You know abuse that like button or whatever, I don't know, but just do that. Um, otherwise, thanks for following along uh, for the drive and the tour, and uh, y'alls have a wonderful day. Cheers.